showering can cut cancer risk for firefighters after tackling a blaze. Firefighters have more than five times as many cancer-causing chemicals in their bodies after tackling a blaze, warns new research. The toxic chemicals more than quadruple the potential for DNA damage that triggers cancer, according to the study. And the chemicals get in through their skin, rather than inhalation, meaning firefighters may need to get a decontaminating wash down as soon as they return from a job. Scientists examined exposure by collecting urine, skin and clothing samples from Ottawa Fire Service personnel in Canada during hundreds of on-shift emergencies over two years. They found the community heroes are at ever greater risk of developing tumors than previously feared. Lead researcher Jennifer Kerr, a MSc student in the Chemical and Environmental Toxicology program at Ottawa University, said, We found firefighters have between three and more than five times the amount of palm metabolites in their urine after a fire compared to before. We also measured mutagenic potency which gives us an indication of the possibility to produce genetic mutations. We found this increased an average fourfold. The burning of wood, plastics, furniture, electronics and other building materials releases a large group of highly carcinogenic chemicals called PAS, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, into the air. Concern about firefighters' cancer risk grew after the 9-11 World Trade Center attacks because of their exposure to asbestos and jet fuel. Since then the hazardous occupation has been linked with multiple myeloma, non-Hodgkin lymphoma, and tumors of the prostate, testicles, brain, bowel and skin. Based on a study of 30,000 firefighters in three cities, the U.S. National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health reported in 2013 firefighters had higher rates of several kinds of cancer, particularly respiratory, digestive and urinary malignancies. The risk of lung cancer increased with every fire they fought. Plastics Foams and coatings in particular create a potentially deadly soup of carcinogens when they burn. Fire experts say synthetic materials, including TVs and furniture, create hundreds of times more smoke than organic ones. Flame retardants alone double the amount of smoke and increase toxic gases tenfold. In this study, published in the journal Environmental Science and Technology, Researchers at Ottawa University followed 27 male firefighters before and after they responded to emergencies in 2015 and 2016. On average post-fire levels of palm metabolites in urine were 2.9 to 5, three times higher than those before they went out. Mutagenic potency soared 4.3-fold. The team, led by Dr. Jules Place, used 18 Ottawa Fire Service office workers as a control. They found a significant link between palm metabolites including naphthalene, pyrene, phenanthrene and fluorine, in urine and the levels on the firefighter's skin. They said this suggests they are exposed to these harmful chemicals mainly through contact with their skin, rather than breathing them in. Ms. Kier said, it's important to know how firefighters are absorbing pause because we know some are inducing DNA mutations which have been linked to cancer. There's a relationship between firefighters' urinary palm metabolite levels and on the levels of pause on their skin which leads us to suspect that dermal contact may be an important route of exposure. The researchers conclude skin decontamination immediately after fighting a fire could be one way to help reduce firefighters' exposure to these potentially cancer-causing compounds. Captain David Mitchk, of Ottawa Fire Service, said, We know about the obvious dangers we face on the job, but this new research gives us definitive proof of the chemicals we are exposed to and the rates of occupational exposure. I've been a firefighter for 32 years and I've witnessed many of my peers and friends get job-related illnesses. This research into the toxic chemicals in smoke will help improve our procedures and our equipment meaning reduce job-related illness and longer, healthier lives. Six months ago 200 London firefighters tackled the tragic blaze at Grenfell Tower North Kensington, which claimed the lives of more than 80 people. Public Health England has said levels of pause and other toxic chemicals were low. Frozen Lemon More Powerful Than Chemotherapy After reading this you will always freeze your lemons. Numerous nutritionists and restaurant professionals consume or use the whole lemon and nothing is wasted. In order to use the whole fruit, you should wash well the lemon skin and put it in the freezer and wrapped in film to preserve its aroma. When it is frozen, use grater and grate the lemon. You can sprinkle it in sushi, rice, pasta sauce, salads, stews, pure soups, water, wines, lemonades and granizadas. 
It will provide amazing taste which will be something that you haven't tasted before. The skin of the lemon contains 5 to 10 more vitamins than the juice. If we continue to freeze the lemon and grate and sprinkle it on the food we will consume more beneficial foods for the health. It is 10,000 times more powerful than the chemo. It has pleasant taste and does not cause the terrible chemotherapy effects. Except grating the skin, we can also consume the pulp and the juice and add it to cakes, ice creams, etc. One of the most interesting virtues is the effects it provides on tumors and cysts. It has been tested against all types of cancers. It's also considered antimicrobial spectrum against fungal and bacterial infections, against worms and internal parasites. It is a potent antidepressant, regulates the blood pressure and fights nervousness. This fruit is great alkalinizer that regulates the blood's pH levels. It also kills the malignant cells of 12 cancer types like pancreas, lung, prostate and colon cancer. The lemon's compounds have proven to be 10,000 times better than the adriamycin, drug used in chemo to decrease the cancer cell growth. The lemon therapy destroys only the malignant cancer cells, not the healthy ones. What happens to your body when you eat avocado every day? Avocados are ones of the healthiest fruits on the planet and have been consumed for millennia. They are native to Mexico, and the oldest avocado samples found in Puebla date back to 1000 BC. They are members of the same family as camphor and cinnamon and grow on trees, which can sometimes be 6 feet high. These fruits ripen a week or two after picking. Avocados are incredibly rich in nutrients, including magnesium, iron, zinc, manganese, calcium, sodium, potassium, vitamins B, K, E, and C. They contain more potassium than bananas, and 23% of the recommended daily allowance of folate, which supports heart health and reduces the risk of strokes. These are the health benefits of avocados. They contain flavonoids and polyphenols which have potent anti-inflammatory properties. Avocados are high in glutathione which decelerates the aging process and supports heart health. Avocados are rich in folate, which lowers the risk of stroke, heart issues, and neural tube defects like spina bifida. They are rich in fiber which helps digestion, regulate blood sugar, and helps weight loss. The regular consumption of avocados provides a healthy amount of beta carotene and lycopene. Avocados are high in oleic acid which prevents prostate cancer and the growth of oral cancer cells. The topical application of avocado oil nourishes the skin and treats skin conditions, like psoriasis. Avocados are loaded with betacytosterol, which reduces LDL cholesterol and triglycerides in blood and prevents the plaque accumulation in the arteries. Avocados are high in lutein, which is a powerful and antioxidant that prevents eyesight issues like cataract or macular degeneration. The application of avocado extract and a combination of some carrier oil treats arthritis symptoms. Avocados cleanse the intestines and treat bad breath. Avocados contain glutathione which prevents free radical damage and damage to the DNA and thus prevent chronic conditions and diseases, as well as cancer. Therefore, the regular consumption of these healthy fruits will provide countless health benefits. Eat them raw or add them to your smoothies or salads and enjoy their delicious taste and nutrients. A stroke is coming, 5 signs to know that may save your life. In case you believe that stroke arrives overnight, it is time to reconsider. Patients encounter numerous caution symptoms, however, most of them are not able to understand these. Stroke is really an issue in that the blood prevents flowing within the brain, as well as cells die off. This doesn't indicate that only aged people may suffer this stroke. Most recent reports claim that over 35% of most sufferers tend to be under 65. Hypertension, higher cholesterol levels as well as smoking are a couple of the adding factors. 5 Symptoms of a Stroke Weak Hands Most people detect some weakness or tingling in one part of the body. Try and raise your arms over your head, to see if they each go up. When there is a stroke coming, one of the arms will certainly drop. Serious Headache an unexpected headache is really a clear indication of a stroke. It is quite the same to a migraine, however, many people can't really make a difference. Look for something strange, and get help. Confusion Based on the Stroke Association, unforeseen confusion is a frequent indication of a stroke. A patient is unable to comprehend people, as well as shows, decreased mental capacity. Difficulty talking Stroke patients are generally not able to talk clearly and slur the words. 
request that they repeat their own words, as well as observe their own condition. If you see any of the symptoms in yourself, repeat exactly what you've simply said, as well as determine whether or not the words are slurred. Imbalance. Experts say some patients encounter coordination and imbalance problems. Attempt to touch your own nose along with your finger, as well as walk in an aligned line. Are you able to do it? When the response is no, visit the closest hospital or even call 911.